All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make coffee in a coffee pot when you don't have filter papers. So what I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna take some paper towel, you see right here? And right here, this is where the filter is supposed to go, but since I don't have filters, I'm gonna use this paper towel. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna simply place the paper towel down in here as such, okay, very simple. You don't need to get fancy with it because you get fancy with it, you could end up ruining your makeshift filter. All right, so next, after I have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and add coffee to this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add coffee to the, to the makeshift filter like that. You see that, it's going on right here, pretty cool. So I'll put the coffee in there. I kinda like the coffee strong strong however you want to call it so i put the coffee in there and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your pot fill it with water of course to how much coffee you want already have that done and then i'm going to go ahead and pour this into the back all right so i'm going to pour this in the back like i normally make coffee when i have a regular filter so i'm going to go ahead and put that in there like that and I'm gonna put this into place. Now, with this, you could do a couple of options. You could tear some of this off right here uh, so it looks nice and neat, but why do you want nice and neat? You just want some coffee. But just make sure none of the coffee grounds are seeping behind the paper. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna pull over the spigot that dispenses the hot water that comes over here. And I'm going to make sure that that is completely over. And I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to go ahead and brew now. And it's going to start to brew. And I'll get a little bit closer so you can see this. So the coffee's in the back right there. And it's starting to brew. And what you'll want to do is, while this is right here, just make sure that none of the coffee grounds gets behind that. You don't want any of the coffee grounds getting into your coffee. And I'm going to show you the end product in here, it's starting to brew right here. You can see this. I'm getting a little bit closer so you can see this a little bit better. <clears throat> All right, so it's starting to brew, the brew process, the, the paper towels right here. Now, this type of paper towel that I have right here, it should be good enough to where the coffee water can actually drip into the pot uh, through there without clogging anything up. So that's very important. Now, what I'm doing right here, it may not work with all coffee makers. It's just working for me, and this is just my opinion on how to make it work. So it's starting to come in there. You can see it's starting to foam up a little bit down in here. Get a little bit closer so you can see that. So it's starting to, to foam up a little bit as the water drips down in there. And get down we're gonna get down close so you can see it's starting to drip inside of the pot which is exactly what I want and it, it's coming out really slow but with this type of coffee maker that I have it's a mr. coffee um, it's fairly rinky dink not the highest quality of coffee makers but it does the trick which is ultimately to make me a fresh cup of coffee with the, these coffee grounds. So it's starting to go in, it's looking like it's dripping you know, slowly, but normally you'd have this thing right here shut. I'm keeping it open for demonstration purposes so you can actually see what's going on. So it's going in here, and we'll start to foam up. Now, don't worry that it's foaming up right here and then the sides on over here are dry. Eventually, the sides over here will be moist, wet, however you want to call it, with the water, all right? It, this is a slow process. This is how Mr. Coffee does it. This is how many coffee pots makers do it with the drip coffee. Goes in there like that. Look at that, it's starting to go down. And they're foaming up quite nicely. And this is gonna be a nice cup of coffee. We're about, we're coming up on a quarter of the way uh, filled inside of the pot and it's slowly dripping again. Not all of the coffee grounds are completely moist yet, but it's working in that direction. I wish I could get down a little bit lower so you can actually see how slow the drip is going. And I'm, I'm gonna try to get down low enough, not down to the flow, but low enough 
so you can see how slow the drip is actually going. Just for those of you who didn't under, never understood how slow the drip coffee maker goes, but it's really, when they say drip, it is actually drip coffee. Look at that. It's just spewing a little bit. And inside here, this is the water that I poured in there. Okay, it's slowly being dispensed. A little bit of steam coming out of there, right here. Fog off my glasses. And it's slowly dripping in there, getting wet, getting moist, foaming. See, most of it is starting to get, get there. Hopefully it can get there pretty soon. Let me center it a little bit, maybe. That'll help the moistening process to make sure all the coffee grounds get moist. And we're, we're approaching about halfway on the coffee pot of being full, and it's still spitting out or spewing out uh, water onto the coffee grounds. Smell the nice, fresh coffee. This type of coffee that I have right here is Oh, didn't mean to shut that, but it's okay. It's all good. This is Aloha. This is Lion Coffee, a really good coffee. It's a toasted coconut flavor, naturally and artificially flavored. It's a light, um, light uh, 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 roasted coffee, as it says right there, with hints of toasted coconut. So now we're really steaming in here. We're coming towards the end of the coffee making process. It's no longer foaming. You're getting a little bit of water coming up in here for the drip. It should be good enough for me to go ahead and take the pot off and pour in a hot brewed cup of coffee. Now I'm just gonna move this so you can see this right now. You can see right there that the paper towel actually worked as a filter. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some coffee so you can see for yourself that Oh, a little bit of steam action going on right there. So you can actually see for yourself that the paper tower coffee filter worked for me. Look at that. No coffee grounds in there whatsoever. It's looking nice, looking neat, looking really good. All right. And that's how you use a paper towel as a coffee filter to make your morning cup of coffee. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was helpful.